Today on Cross and Crown Radio and the Gospel Truth Podcast, we're going to talk about the uniqueness of Jesus, why there's nobody else in history ever like Jesus. Jesus is utterly unique. He is the exclusive way to God. Why? Because he is God. He came to earth as God manifested in the flesh. Number two, he died for my sins. Three, he rose from the grave and displayed compelling evidence for his resurrection. Next, he revealed potent evidence for his claims, including over 300 predictions written before he came in the Old Testament. All these predictions, 300 plus of them, outlining where he would be born, where he would live, how he would live, when he would come into Jerusalem, the exact date, how he would die on the cross, and over 300 other predictions all came true in one guy. This is the man, the son of man, Jesus Christ. No one ever spoke like him. No one ever loved like him. No one ever offered the evidence that he did. No one ever did the miracles that he did. No one ever changed history like Jesus did from B.C. into A.D. No one ever died for the sins on a cross for an eternal effects atonement like Jesus did. No one in history compares to him. His love, his mercy, and his grace, and his truth infinitely transcend all others combined. So Jesus, he's God. He died for my sins. God raised him from the dead unlike any other. He revealed potent evidence for his claims unlike any other. No one ever spoke like him. No one ever loved like him. No one ever offered the evidence he did. No one ever did the miracles he did. And no one ever changed history from B.C. into A.D. like he did. Peter said it this way in Acts chapter 4, verse 10. Let it be known to all that by the name of Jesus Christ, there is salvation in no other. That's what Peter said. Jesus said it this way. I am the way and the truth and life. No one comes to the Father except by me. That's Jesus. Jesus is winsome. He's marvelous. His life and his words and his heart are compelling. They draw all men to him as you look to the cross and the resurrection. Philip Schaeff put it this way. Jesus of Nazareth, without money and arms, conquered more millions than Alexander the Great, than Caesar, Muhammad, and Napoleon. He shed more light on things human and divine than all philosophers and scholars combined. He spoke such words of life as were never spoken before or since, produced effects which lie beyond the reach of order or poet. He set more pens in motion and furnished more themes for more sermons, orations, and discussions, learned volumes, works of art, songs of praise, than the whole army of great men in ancient and modern times. End of quote. Jesus is the exclusive way to God. Why? Because we want to rally around our team and make our team the winners? No, it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with truth. There is an exclusive truth and only one way to God, and that's through Jesus Christ. When you say, well, that's exclusive, and I don't like that. Well, if you say all roads lead to heaven, that's an exclusive claim that all roads lead to heaven. And my claim, or Jesus' claim, that he's the only way to God is wrong. So you exclude my claim to make your claim that all roads lead to God. So even trying to be inclusive makes you exclusive. So someone has to have an exclusive position, but it's either true or it's false. With Jesus, we have all the compelling evidence and proof that it's absolutely true. So we know Jesus died on the cross for our sins, and he rose from the dead. No one ever spoke like him. No one ever did the miracles he did. No one ever loved like him. No one ever changed history from B.C. to A.D. like he did. No one ever died on the cross for our sins for an eternal, effectual atonement like he did. Nobody was ever risen from the dead by God except for Jesus, who stayed alive after his resurrection, the only one ever, and to ascend to the right hand of the Father. If you want to get more, you can get my book, How Jesus Became God in the Flesh. You can see that on Amazon. Also, my book, you can get... God Does Exist, and you can see that on Amazon by Mike Robinson. Also, if you have a chance, there is a link to our Patreon page here on this YouTube video, or it's going to go to YouTube, but here on Facebook, as well as when it does get on YouTube. So Jesus is the only way. We know that because he said so. And this is what the Prince of Prophets said, Isaiah 9, 6. He said, For unto us a child is born, and a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Isaiah 9, 6 predicted the coming of Jesus Christ and told us he would be God, told us he would be the Prince of Peace. So this is Pastor Mike Robinson. Until next time, saying may God richly bless you.